what about the acoustic compatibility with the KH150 and other Neumann studio monitors? Because sometimes you may want to mix and match what's in your studio. This is not a problem at all, on, on the contrary, with the KH150. Uh, first of all, the KH150 is designed with the same philosophy in mind as all other Neumann studio monitors. So they are all tonally compatible from the start. On top of that, we, we have this linearized phase that we talked about earlier, uh, which means that there is no, let's say, model-specific phase response anymore. Um, and this comes to play when you're mixing, especially two-way and three-way models, like in a larger immersive audio setup, where you would have three-way speakers in the front and two-way speakers in the back or in the ceiling. Uh, just the fact that each crossover has its own phase imprint would lead in, in like other designs would lead into quite some chaos in the crossover region and speakers wouldn't add up perfectly and you would get really poor imaging. The fact that we have a phase linear crossover region uh, makes this issue go away. So perfect compatibility with all other KH Neumann monitors. Yeah. With the KH 750A67, you introduced this a while ago and you, you, you pushed it as a, a hub for Neumann speakers into the AES 67 realm, which is becoming more and more popular in, in the broadcast world. What do we see with the KH150? Um, the KH150 will be available as an AES 67 version as well in both colors. Mm -hmm. um, it has fully redundant network ports, so two network ports on, on the back, which is compliant with the relevant broadcast standards, such as ST2110, ST2022-7 redundancy, and Dravena. It can also uh, receive Dante-generated AES67 compatible streams as well. 